Hey, I'm Paul Begay, AST Systems Design. Okay, so we started everything up, and what I want to do is I want to go over you know, where all our water is, where it's flowing, go over some specifics on numbers. Uh, so, 150-gallon fish tank, 45-gallon sump tank, one half cubic foot bead filter, 28 cell tower. We've got two very small water pumps. One of them is running water through the bead filter. The second is running water all the way up to the tower. We're really trying to make sure that we didn't use two water pumps, but with a tower design, we really didn't see a way around it. Um, but we're gonna talk about how we can optimize this system and how we can maybe make some changes. Um, so we're flowing right now at between five to seven gallons per minute through the bead filter. And what we want to do is we want to look here and we want to make sure that this valve is open. We're returning 75% of the water to our fish tank, right? Now we're only sending a very small amount, maybe 10%, maybe 20% to this reservoir here for the tower. This water is being pumped up to the top of the tower, and then it's filling each one of these racks on the way down to falling back inside the tower. Now, we had talked a little bit about the airlift. So, the water that's leaving the bead filter through this valve here, running through this pipe, we're trying to match that flow. Let's see if we can get right here. Here's our air lifted return to the fish tank. So right now, we're coupled, but we're only sending about 25% of the water through the plants, okay? So if we see here, 75% flow, 25% flow, that's what we're looking for. With a system that's this size, we wanna be feeding somewhere around three pounds max, we want to have, uh, we have sizing for our air pump or aeration in tank so that there's enough dissolved oxygen for the fish and also that there's enough dissolved oxygen for our bacteria that are on the beads. All right, that's very, very important. So what we say, our design criteria is three CFM per pound of feed, okay? What that means is, cubic feet per minute. So we want to have three cubic feet per minute per pound of feed going in. All right, so we've got three six inch air stones. Two, and we haven't turned our third one on, but here's our third right here. All right, we can put some fingerlings in here. We can put some uh, larger adult fish for grow out. And basically what we have to figure out now is which fish we wanna put in this tank. And that's where the fun part is. Charging your bio filter and then trying to get this water ideal for our fish so that we can have some really healthy plants, all right? So we're using a 150 liter per minute air pump. We use a lot of these air pumps for aeration in tank, also for air lifts. It's a really good smaller option when you are needing air and some of the regenerative blowers might be a little bit too big, all right? So uh, we use a lot of these and they're great for a very small system. So where we are right now, day zero, charging our biofilter, we want to run this for about four weeks. So we're going to do some things, and we'll put them on video, how we can decrease that acclimation time so that we can get fish in here a little bit faster. All right? So stay tuned for more videos about this fun, small hobby system to come.